ओके आई कैन स्टार्ट राइट सो गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन आई एम नीलेन्द्र चौधरी एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टेक युअर सेशन ऑन सिंप्लीफाइंग ए आई फॉर डिफरेंट स्टेक होल्डर्स सो लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ सो I am Nilendra Choudhary, and I am data science expert working as a senior manager uh, in applied data science in Capgemini. I have total 19 years of experience across different uh, technologies and domain, and in my current role uh, is to infuse and productionize more AI ML services onto uh, Capgemini intelligent automation platform and different Capgemini tools. so uh, let's get uh, started so uh, i will be going through the agenda of uh, uh, ai and different stakeholders who are involved in ai uh, then uh, we'll move on and see what are the tools the history of tools and how uh, it got evolved over a period of time and Uh, this uh, ai tools how they are used in cloud so uh, and then we'll move on to some of the uh, advanced uh, things in ai which are uh, ml ops and explainable ai and then the auto ml so what is artificial intelligence so artificial intelligence is uh, in building human intelligence into uh, machines so i found this image very interesting where humans are trying to build an human intelligence so uh, and you see different uh, terminologies with related to artificial intelligence like automation virtual uh, self correction learning so these are some of the terms used so uh, if you come to ai so before ai if you see uh, uh, what uh, people were trying to build was uh, taking the domain or business knowledge and building systems so so it was covering this portion uh, of uh, business address addressed by uh, computer science and it technologies so this was pure software development where rules were given by the uh, business experts and those were simply codified by uh, uh, computer science experts and those were deployed onto different systems and the processes were automated using uh, the different computer science programming techniques so now there is one more component or one more stakeholder which got added and why it got added was uh, because of huge amount of data that is being collected today uh, it is simply impossible for a domain or business uh, expert to visualize and uh, get uh, get the rules out of it so there are different data points which are collected from uh different data points which are collected uh, uh and there are different big data technologies co collecting different uh, data from iot sensors and uh different uh, data sources and over a period of time huge amount of data is uh, is already generated and captured in this computer systems so so here comes uh, uh, maths and statistics so this is where uh, we try to derive rules and try to build an intelligence into uh, a computer system itself so so these are the three different stakeholders who are there uh, in ai so so coming to uh, how it evolved uh, if you see there are different stakeholders who are there so statisticians uh, are the persons who go and look at uh, different um, mathematics and statistics about it and build different uh, ai ml algorithms on top of uh, statistical things so 
R was the most preferred language by statistician and even there was uh, uh, Met MATLAB uh, also which was very popular but R was the most popular one and if you come to uh, computer science or IT uh, Mahout was the one uh, where it uh, all started where uh, these algorithms were not able to scale, the algorithms in R were not able to scale uh, to the expectation or the data which was being captured. So there uh, Mahout was the one which uh, uh, was uh, distributed across multiple nodes using Hadoop. So, so, so these tools were used uh, uh, by computer science experts uh, where this uh, algorithms were embedded inside uh, and mouth was the one which was used previously so so these are the tools which are from mathematics and statistical point of view and computer science point of view but uh, there is other another stakeholder who is a domain expert uh, which was there so uh, here uh, what was happening is that uh, uh, Watson was trying to do something different. So they came up with something called a citizen data science with Watson analytics. So, so this Watson analytics was where uh, a tool which was given to a domain expert who can uh, do uh, statistics on a go by just uploading the data and he was able to visualize it and build those models. So, so it was very interesting tool so uh, which was part of uh, Watson so we'll move and see uh, some of these tools so R was more of an English type uh, syntactical Thank you. 